Steve here, Shen RC, and today I'm going to make some mud snow sand tracks for the rip saw here. I made these, and these work really good. These are off road terrain tracks, so I want to try to make something for like the snow and stuff. I pre cut out this stuff here. This is the U channel, rubber U channel. I'll link it below in my video description. That's what I use. And what I did was I went with the scissors and I cut across the top. And then you get two pieces like that. And what I did to make the paddle treads is I cut some of the bottom off here and made this part over here a little thinner. You can see it, the difference right here. So that's what I did. And I'm going to glue these on just like that I mark the tank tracks what you want to do space them apart it's you skip three glue one skip three glue one like that and then this tank here I did every other track so that's two ways you could do it I figured with paddles I would want them spaced apart more so that's what I'm gonna do on this first tank here the way I got these lugs on here I cut it like this the same way but then I cut the ridge off the back with a razor blade and then I cut a little bit off the front here and then I put the lug on here with the thick part facing forward because it's on an angle you can see it I'm gonna get to the tracks you want to clean them off first with like rubbing alcohol or a Windex and then I'm going to show you guys how I glue them on and we'll see what it looks like. Alright, I got the CA glue. This is Loctite. I think it's professional. The label's off. I always use this stuff. It's real good. Also, I forgot to mention, you got to get alcohol and degrease the backs where you want to glue on the tread lugs. Also, with your tracks, see this flat long spot on the track pad? That's the front. So here's how you want to glue these on. If you want the paddle, you put it up like that. And that's how it'll go on. And I'm going to glue one up and show you really quick. Put a little CA glue. Get your track here, line it up, they don't have to be perfect, and you just press it on, hold it for a couple seconds, and there you have it. Now for these, like in the beginning of the video, I'm going to skip three. So you glue one on, then one, two, three, then you glue another one on here. Hold it on. That should be good. And that's what you want to do. Put one on, skip three, put one on, skip three, put one on. I'm going to do the treads and I'll get back to you and show you what they look like. There they are, both tracks complete. It takes 20 lugs to go around each track when you skip the three spaces. Now I'm going to put them on the tank and show you what it looks like. Alrighty, they're on, that's what it looks like. Now I'm just going to give it a run. Alright guys, I'm going to test it out really quick, I don't want to go too crazy because these ain't fully cured, I just finished CA gluing them on, these paddle 
lug, so let's uh, try it out and see what it does. It's a little bumpy. Looks like they work. reason I made these was for off-roading, maybe in the sand, loose dirt, definitely in the snow. Guys, I think these monster tracks are awesome for these ripsaw tanks. They look cool too, and I'm sure it's going to make them work a lot better off-roading. Well guys, looks like the track mod worked great again. These should be cool in the snow, sand, probably even in like loose dirt and stuff. But anyhow guys, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll try to answer them the best I can. Please leave me a thumbs up. Nice comment would be cool. And also hit that bell so you don't miss my future videos. And I'll see you next time. Shen RC out.